killed her. Uh oh. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we're gonna work on something that you guys haven't seen before. It's supposed to be a run and drive. Unfortunately, this one probably does drive, but it won't stop. I'd like to introduce you to my 1923 tea bucket. Now, this is not a real tea bucket. This is a kit car. You can tell the difference because listen to this fiberglass versus a real one that's metal this this whole car right here is metal and i know you're thinking wait a minute we haven't done a video on this yet well there's a reason why there's there's a pretty big issue that i'm trying to get resolved before we do a video on this one so ignore this right even though it is super cool and let's focus on this this thing looks like it was a recent build, and man, did they do a wild job on it. Look at these Mickey Thompsons on the back. Like, they, they didn't spare any expense. You've got weld uh, racing wheels. you got these ginormous Mickey Thompson sportsman tires on the back. These are a 31s. <laughs> 31 by 16 and a half. Uh, by 15 LTs. You got your skinnies up front, again, on weld racing wheels. These tires are, I don't know, a YKS. I don't know that brand. And then you got that engine right there. Looking at the engine, all I can really tell for sure is it is a small block 350. It's got an Edelbrock, uh, this is what they call, what, a dual plane intake. It's got that, uh, that gap, or maybe it's called an air gap intake, so to prevent heat soak. It also looks like you could put maybe some nitrous down in each one of these ports if you wanted to. I believe that is a 650 CSM, uh, CFM Holly carburetor. I love this air cleaner. It's got a nice, I don't know, maybe a two inch spacer. I don't see any choke on it. It's got an HEI distributor over here. And the vacuum advance is disconnected. That's a little weird. We have electric fans, and I think the best part of this, those heads say ATK High Performance Engines. SBC, small block Chevy, part number, I guess, is 64210. 64210. All right, you got these massive headers coming out and just running straight out the side. Absolutely beautiful. I took the liberty of taking this off for you so that you could see this is supposed to have approximately 475 miles on it. Take a look at those ro rollers. <laughs> oh man. Yep. And uh, take a look at the studs right there on the heads. Yep. I can't read them, but uh, yes, I can read them. They say ARP. So <laughs> it's got ARP head studs. What a beautiful, beautiful machine. Carburetor says Holly HP 650. Uh, there's a number 0682. There's also another number 82. I can't read that. 820 8261-1. Moving over to the interior. I know it's a little dark. You're going to have to bear with me. Beautifully done interior. I mean, absolutely beautiful. This thing is gorgeous, guys. Look at your gauges. Auto meter gauges, they look really nice. B&M shifter down here, sorry, Hurst, my bad, Hurst shifter down there. Then you come around to the back, you got your fuel cell back here. And underneath, take a look at the suspension setup. You got you a big Holly fuel pump right there. All this hard line plumbed. These are hard lines plumbed in that is insane that is absolutely insane and then in case i wanted to hit up holly and see if they could send me a sniper kit for this guess what it's got those what are these called an fittings dual feed an fittings to the carburetor you've got a t down here from jegs i believe that's a fuel filter with a splitter on the end of it and it comes out of 
a hard 3 8 inch fuel line. In fact, that may be a little bigger than 3 8 But in, either way, this thing's ready. You would have to do almost nothing to this to drop a sniper in this thing. Uh, what do you say we put the valve cover on and fire it up real quick? Michael from Santa's workshop is on his way. We do have a problem with it. I want to show that to you right now. All right, I put this valve cover back on because I can't start it with the valve cover missing. But you come down here and it's going to be hard to see. But what you're looking at right there, that is a brake line that had been rubbing up against the transmission. Like I said, hard to see, but it's there. Somebody put a little insulator piece of vacuum hose on it. It did absolutely no good and it busted a hole in that line. That was like that when I got it. So when I got it, I hopped in and I was getting ready to take her for a spin. That never happened. It has no brakes, zero zilch, none. Um, so Michael from Santa's Workshop is bringing over some brake line and his flaring tools. He knows how to do this stuff. And we're gonna try to fix these brakes, at which point we can hopefully take it out on a drive. Why don't we try to fire it up real quick so you guys can hear this monstrosity of a small block engine. Now I'm sure you're wondering where some of the parts are. They're all right here. This is the carpet. It's got like a nice external carpet padding, very nice. And then this is like, kind of like the rumble seat that covers up the fuel system. But here it is. Let's turn the key on. Oh, that's loud. There's your brake master cylinder. Sits under a nice door. Move that out of the way. And look, we got some lights. Check that out. Very nice mood lights, accent lighting. All right, you ready to fire her up? Let me give her a little gas. Get ready, guys, because she is, uh, she doesn't want to run. She's got no choke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wasn't kidding with you, man. Uh, this little engine, this little engine is a monster. We'll try getting her to run again. Yeah. With no choke and it's kind of cold in here, I keep it at 70. Uh, cars with carburetors don't like starting. <laughs> it's going to be like that, huh? All right. Well, I'm not going to bore you guys with constantly sitting here fighting her. It's going to take me a while to get her running. Give me a minute. We'll come back. When she's alive so pardon the noise i gotta move some things around because that needs to come off so i can get this on the problem is this has no brakes so i'm kind of gonna have to just roll out backwards and hope for the best good lord that thing is insanely loud guys uh it, it is absolutely insane look at the way the bucket rocks i mean she's just idling and look at the way she's rocking. <laughs> I believe, man. Oh, uh, she's finally running on her own. This thing is an absolute monster. It kind of scares me a little bit. It really does. She's warming up. All right. I guess we should probably hop in, try to back it out so I can lower this lift down real quick. Let's see if I can climb in this bad boy. Oh, wow. Oh, I feel a cramp. Oh, wow. Woo. It does have lights. They work. You can see them over there. Uh, it's got turn signals. Uh, gauges appear to all work. Uh, gas pedal. Gas pedal works. Unfortunately, brakes. Oh, they do work. The brakes are kind of working. The brakes are actually somewhat working right now. Uh, they don't work well. So 
so we're just gonna kind of roll her backwards. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Woo. Guys, this thing is terrifying. Oh, uh, we gotta get these brakes fixed so we can drive this. Like, the amount of power coming from this thing, it's so small, it's fiberglass, it's super light, and I'm telling you, that may be a small block Chevy, but she is powerful. What a beast. All right. This is a, how do you put it in park? There we go. This is a terrifying car. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wow. Woo -hoo -hoo. I cannot imagine what this thing would be like if it had a sniper on it. I, I really can't. Uh, a sniper and then their dual sink distributor. There's some of your woodwork. They did a good job. These quality materials on all of this, guys. This is a nice build. A really nice build. Uh, Michael from Santa's Workshop took a look at it. He's been all over looking at it. And he was like, this one is nice. He said, somebody did this right. They spent the money and they did a good job. The wiring is good too. It's got proper fuses, newer generation fuses and everything under the dash. Woo! Uh, this car scares me. When I hit that corner there, I mean, she'll like these tires up like it's nothing. Like it is nothing to spin these tires at all. When I hit that corner and I hit that throttle, I just blipped it a little bit, man. She lit them up and she threw me to the other side of the bucket. Like there's <laughs> no seat belts, nothing to hold you in. So when you get on it, man, she just throws you around like a rag doll. Woo. All right, that's enough of that. Let's shut her down. Oh, man. Um, I got to go in there and see if I can't get something done with that uh, citation. We need to get that out of the way so we can get this on the lift. All right, so I'm going to take this time to go ahead and start putting some work into the Chevy Citation that we bought for next to nothing that said it didn't run, but it does run, but it's got a busted steering column. I'm gonna film a separate video doing this right now because I gotta get this steering column replaced so we can find out if it actually runs and drives. We still don't know. But before I get into that, I want to say thank you to Xander who sent me a letter that says, Hi, Randy, I am Xander from Pennsylvania. I'm 11 years old. I wanted to send positivity in your rough time. Sorry, the art is bad. Then he says he hopes my uncle is doing well. Well, Xander, thank you so much. I appreciate it. There's a ram that he colored in mine. You recognize it? May recognize this Jeep, too. I had one of these. And, of course, the AAR Auto Auction Rebuilds logo. Xander, thank you so much for taking the time to color these and to send me a letter. I really appreciate it, man. I want you to know that I got it, and it's hanging up on my wall. I appreciate you, man. Now, let's get back to that yellow tea bucket. We got this, we got this Chevy Citation done. Let's make sure the brakes still work. They do. Oh wow, boy! This this thing is a this thing is this thing is stupid, is what it is. This is a death trap. I'm not even kidding, and it doesn't need power steering. I can steer this car with just a couple fingers. All right. Good God Almighty! This thing is nasty. really mine.
dude. Hang on. <laughs> I had a Viper, and I swear to God, this car feels... This is death. Like, I really... I feel like I need to get life insurance. Because... I just, I, I, I can feel it. This is a terrifying car. <laughs> you're, you're probably pushing around four to 500 horse out of that motor. What does this car weigh, you think, with a fiberglass body? Oh, 1,500? Oh, hell. <laughs> well, that, it's all motor and <laughs> that explains a lot then, doesn't it? <laughs> Dude, these tires, you need bigger tires. <laughs> like, yeah. it, it has... You the, need these. <laughs> This thing lights these up. You just blip the throttle trying to move, and it will spin them. Well, I mean, on a good day, if I had a place to grab it, I could probably lift the back of this thing myself. I uh, I love it, but this scares me. I think as much as my motorcycle does. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm serious. This 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 really this scares me. Did I? I didn't introduce you yet on the T bucket, did I? I don't think so. No, you weren't because the, you weren't here yet. Because I ran late as usual. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I guess it's a good time to introduce Michael from Santa's Workshop to any of my new subscribers. I got a lot of new subscribers, and you guys need to go check him out. Please. He works on stuff like this too. I'm about to build one from scratch. Yeah, and you're gonna drive it. Not me. No. no, no. <laughs> Darn, we need to drag. No, never the mind. The motor that's going in that thing will make that thing seem tame. Yeah, you haven't started on it yet. You've no. got the parts. Almost all the parts, I think. I've got to get the Corvette out yeah. and get it sold. I've got to get the 55 double nickel on the lift so I can get the cab back on that frame. Yep. Once I get that over there and get that cab on, I'll be able to move the T-bucket in and get started on it. I'm excited to see that. I'm subscribed to him. I am. I'm subscribed. Yep. I'm subscribed. So you might as well go subscribe too. The link, guess what? It'd be the first one down below this video. Go subscribe comment on his latest video your latest video is just a shop update because it's been 135,000 degrees it, it's, been, a, it's yeah. been horrendous and i've been dealing with health issues. issues yeah but you're getting better i'm getting better you're getting better um I'm, and it's what, cooling down I, I spent what two hours in here so far today yeah. and uh i'm still upright moving and it wasn't fully air conditioned either oh. like the doors had been opened yeah uh for quite a while today so it's not the normal nice cold temperatures in here but we have a problem with this one um, and you found it. Yep. Yep. I invited him over because I was like, huh, I don't even know where the brakes would be on something like this. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know. I bought it cause it looked cool. <laughs> okay. That's why I bought it. Not because I know anything about it, but he found the, uh, the brake mass cylinder and we saw it was empty. And I thought, well, surely it's just empty. They forgot to fill it when they built it. Yeah. Right. yeah. No, I didn't think that I didn't, but yeah, she's got a, she's got a broken line up here. And uh, we're going to jump into this. We got it on the lift, so it'll make working around these things a little bit easier. And we're going to try to put a new one in. That uh, We're not going to try. Okay, we're not going to try. Okay, and hopefully it won't rub up against the transmission and pop another hole. Believe me, when I'm done, it won't. <laughs> the car, is, it was well built, oh, with the exception of the brake lines. It is a phenomenal build, and I really think that brake line, it was an overlook and... They might have not, it might not have been touching when they got it built. Yeah. But it has since moved. So it's possible that whoever had worked on it hit it, pushed it down where we're trying against the transmission belt. Yeah. Yeah. So, but when I get done, it's going to have plenty of clearance. I just want it to stop. Oh, it's going to stop. And it's, st it's actually stopping this much it, it does stop before it didn't stop at all like i was just rolling open for yeah you know whoo <laughs> but it actually does have some stop to it now because we did fill it up with brake fluid we started bleeding the brakes and then quickly realized uh yeah, it snapped tripping. in the front but i think we've got a little bit of grab in the back just just a little just bit a little. and uh it's enough to keep me from driving through the shop or flying out to the street See, the oncoming traffic that's a single piston yes cylinder so that runs both ends yeah if you had a dual piston You'd have one for the back, one for the front. That way, if the front line breaks, you've got back Redundant. Breaks. Yeah. That would have been nice, but they decided to go with this. Maybe someday. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me if you think I got a good deal on it. This one this one ran me fourteen five. I got a $200 discount. I don't know why. They just gave me a $200 discount. This came from ACV Auctions. Not sponsored, of course. It's just what it is. But I got this from ACV Auctions. So it was fourteen five dollars out the door. And when I saw it, I had to have it. They refused anything less. Right. They wouldn't. I mean, I tried over and over. They would not touch anything less than fourteen five dollars on this. 
So I paid it because this one over here, even though it's a metal body and a much, much, much older build, this one I paid like, I think it was 11 five for this one. And I was happy until I saw this one. I was like, for $3,000 more? Really? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> if you go out to the market today, you would pay 15 for this one. I need to send this to the market then. That's that's where I, this one, I can't do anything with this right now that I can't talk about it yet. I promise you though, there is drama behind this one. Um, and, and, and we'll get to that. Um, if it gets cleared up, I'm just gonna send it to auction. Um, but but I, I'm not gonna talk about it right now because I'm still waiting on a resolution one way or another. This car may be leaving or it may not, I don't know. But this is the one I want. This is the one we're going to be focused on. Let's see what needs to be done. I don't, I don't know anything about bending or any of that stuff, flaring. I don't know anything about that, but he does, and he's got all the tools. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna figure out how this works. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get to it, guys. Have I ever used one of these? No. I, don't, I'm, I assume you're at the point where you're making a flare now. Yep. Yeah, I, I didn't record the, the part where he had this. Uh, this looks like a sex toy, quite honestly, but... <laughs> This thing goes on the line and you're just like, <laughs> do that. Really, Randy? <laughs> you're going there. <laughs> the line is straight as an arrow now, though. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the, li the line is perfectly straight now. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> so now I don't know how you create a flare, but you got the right size tool for it. Was it just got a pointy? Okay, I, I see it. It's just got a pointy tip and it just spreads it out. Right like that. And that's it. That's it. Oh, wow. Okay. That's it. Was that the hardest part? Or the bins? The bins are going the to be. The bins. Getting all these bins in it is going to be one of the hardest. Yeah, it's 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 not just a straight line and doesn't just have like 99. It's it it curves around a bit, and this tool is the bender thing. Yes. Line bender or something. This basically makes a uh, what looks like mandrel bends. Beautiful, beautiful curves. Oh, wow. Wow. That looks professional. That looks better. Than, <laughs> this looks better than the old line. What are you talking about, man? Look at that. Wow. Okay. And yeah, when I told you we could do it and do it better, I wasn't joking. When he says we, he means him. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm observing at this point. I don't know how to do this. I'm watching because I've never done it before. And I sure don't want to mess up this line. I'm sure none of this stuff is cheap. Actually, a roll of line is only like 25 bucks. Oh, well, hell, that's not that bad. Now, the tools, on the other hand... 50 bucks? I got over 300 <laughs> in all this. Oh, my goodness. Well, for all the custom work you do, this makes sense. Yeah, and I mean, I did, you know, the 55. Have you done this before? Just a few times. Wow. Okay. Guys, we're going to come back here in just a few minutes. What do you think? A couple hours to finish bending it? Oh, no. I'm, I'll probably have it bent here in the next 15. 15. Oh, 15. Okay. <laughs> Somehow I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this is going to take a while because there's a lot of bending and, and, and precise work here. But okay. I guess we'll check back in with you guys in about 15 minutes. Let's time them. No, let's not time him. Let's not, <laughs> let's not time him. <laughs> Just be back when he's done. All right. He built the line. Flares and all. It's done. Look at this. I mean, that looks so much better than the line that came off of it. Mm -hmm. Like, these bins look amazing. But will it fit? We're about to find out. <laughs> I know it will. It's going to fit, guys. Comment below. Do you think it's going to fit? If it don't. If it don't, he's got the yeah, he's got the things for bending and tweaking. That those are for small tweaks, right? That's for small tweaks. All right. Well, I'm gonna help him fish this through, and we'll see if it fits. Looks better than new, huh? It looks better than new. Yeah. It does. I'm. I was shocked myself. <laughs> was it not first try? 
Yeah. Uh, it went right. There was no pulling it back out. and re There was a few minor, like minor tweaks. Well, you're always going to have to do tweaks. Yeah. Like uh, it fit perfectly. Yeah. From hole to hole. Yeah. Dead on. First time, no issue. I, uh, I tightened up the oil pan bolts. They were a little bit loose. Some of them were uh, a little loose and leaking a little bit. We have bled the front brakes. We didn't mess with the back ones. Don't know if they need it or not right now. We'll just figure that out. But right now, it's got brake fluid. It's got a good pedal. It's got a real good pedal. Um, I guess the only thing left to do is to drop her down and... Yeah, since uh, the way that thing attaches to that master cylinder, um, you didn't lose anything out of the back. Yeah, because it still had some brakes. Yeah. It was able to stop somewhat earlier, but I'm thinking maybe that uh, I need to kind of Google how that proportioning valves. Well, it shows less brakes, more brakes. Right. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, so, you know, if you want to just rip the rubber yeah. off of those $300 a piece. $300 a piece. Uh, actually, they're 350 now. $350. That sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look how big. These are 31s. Yeah. 31s. I guarantee you she'll do some smoky burnouts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we also found the fuel line. You said it's how big? It is a half inch. It's a half inch fuel line. Half inch diameter which, fuel line. Which uh, should feed six to 700 horsepower. Half inch. I've never seen fuel line a car that big. No. And it's plumbed hard line from the tank to the pump all the way to the front of the motor where it switches over to those AN lines. Yep. Half inch. Yeah. You know... I'm going to have to call up somebody with a dyno and just, I, I, I'm, I, I have to know, like, I really, I need to know what the numbers are on this. I just, I, I need to know. I think my audience would like to know, too. Who wouldn't want to know what actual horsepower and torque numbers this thing's putting out? The way this is set up, I would guess anywhere between four to 500 horsepower. Four to five, that's insane. That's insane for, for, a, for a fiberglass bucket with yeah. no seat belts. That's what I'm hoping for for the caviar, 4,500. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Drop her down. It's nighttime now, unfortunately. It got dark on us. But uh, I guess we need to just drop her down and take her for a real quick rip. And assuming she stops, that's, I mean, that's it. It's the end of the video. Yep. Simple as that. All right. Let's lower her down and get her off this lift and see what she does. All right. It's time to see what it does. She don't like the cold, so I doubt it's going to want to run. Come on. She runs. <laughs> Lights. Bright dims. No, no, no. Come on, man. He's a choke. He's a choke. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> we stay running. Come on, come on, come on. I think she's about ready. Sounds like a damn race car, man. It is. All right, here we go. No back brakes. None. None.
see what it does. brakes it'd be a lot better with some uh with some brakes jeez some more work on bleeding the brakes for sure The GoPro did what GoPros do, and it turned off, locked up, and left me hanging. That's okay. We brought it back, bled out the yeah. brakes again, even though it didn't seem like it needed it. Yeah, the back one's uh, solid fluid. I never got no air at all. So uh, we did. There is a, uh, what do you call that? I forget. Proportioning valve. Yeah, there is a proportioning valve that is adjustable, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, we gave it more brakes. Yes. We turned the knob to where it said more brakes. <laughs> so hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully we get a little bit more from the back end. Listen to that fan. Oh yeah. Good lord, this thing is ridiculous. Feels a lot better. That one's not locking up. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 the fluid. There we go. Okay. Brakes are hard. All right. Let's see what happens. Round two. Ooh. Those brakes are still very, very difficult. Man. 
She does slow down though. She does. I mean, you really got to hammer on them brakes, but she'll slow down quickly if you get on them brakes real good. All right. I got to turn my hat backwards because <laughs> my hat's trying to fly off of me. Oh my. In fact, I'm just going to take my hat off. All right. are feeling a lot better a lot better I can't see a damn thing I hope you guys can flip this thing around real quick turning radius on these is not great easy Nelly easy Nelly Like it's nothing, man. Really? I, I, I didn't even realize I was going that fast. <laughs> I look down, man, I'm going 80. I got no seatbelt. <laughs> and there's nothing around me. I'm just doing 80 miles an hour. Holy fuck. Woo! Sure you don't want to try to drive it? Look, hop on, look, hop look on it. Man, you cram knees up wherever they gotta go, man. You look <laughs> at your knees and think what I would look like. <laughs> the, uh... The brakes do work, but they're hard. Like, these are well, some... I got to thinking about it. You got that big line going to the front, you got the small line going to the back. Right. So, you're going to... Any more front you brakes and back. You're going to get more than the front and the back no matter yeah. what. So, I would crank that thing as much as you could to the back. Yeah. I guarantee you they had it pinched down so they could roast the tires. I got a feeling that's what they were doing because it does that very well. Oh, yeah. I'm going to run up to the general store one more time, turn around, bring it back. God! Killed her. Uh oh. There you go. There you go. I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe the idle's too low.
get her back in the shop go ahead and put that battery on a trickle charge we'll test that battery while we're at it could be that's got a battery going bad or something i wish i could record it a little more in the daytime uh taking it out for a spin but uh you know things happen i got here so late today i didn't even get here till i don't even remember what time it was it's late though after well, three it was four 30 when I left the house to come up yeah. here, so. Yeah, so I got here late, therefore we had to record a little bit late. I noticed uh, occasionally as I'm blipping the throttle stuff, it, I kill it when I'm coming to a stop. Right. Not a big deal, but when you go to start it back up, it just seems to have a hard time high wanting to crank. Yeah, high compression. And uh, I'm going to check. That battery is a 580 cold cranking amp battery. May need a bigger battery. I also noticed the ground cable is awful warm on it from trying to crank it. So yeah, I, I would check. I would check all your uh, connections. Yeah, and double check the grounds. Make sure everything's good. I see a couple little drips coming out from under here. I wonder what that is. Ugh, what do you? That's oil. Yeah, that is oil coming out. What the drain plug? Maybe. Is it leaking out the drain plug? Well, you know, yeah, it is. It sure is. You know, you can see that that drain that a uh, drain pan. <laughs> Uh, I gotta stop. The oil pan has definitely raked oh, yeah. something, so it may have kind of... Well, I mean, when you're six inches off the ground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not a big deal, though, man. Like, it, it runs... If you put a Holley Sniper on this... Oh, jeez. ...with their dual-sync distributor, I'm... I, you, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it'd be, a, it'd be a whole nother monster, and it already is. Yeah. And it wouldn't die on you. No. But it's terrifying enough as it is. Can you, can you imagine the throttle response on that? Yeah, no, I can't really. And I, we, we got a little friend sitting here. This little dude, I was going 80 miles. I had no idea. Honest to God, I didn't realize I was going 80. I was too busy holding on for dear life <laughs> to look at the spot on. But this little guy right here, he's been here since we came back in here, did the brakes, and then left and did it again. Yep. He's been holding on the whole day. I mean, look at him. He's probably terrified. He looks stressed. <laughs> Scared stiff. <laughs> he is alive, though. Hey, see? He's alive. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave him alone. He deserves the air conditioning. Oh, we'll yes. Shut off the lights, let him enjoy. He'll end up in a spider web over here. But <laughs> I'm going to throw this battery on a trickle charge just for good measure while I uh, leave it behind. I will probably come back for this car and i'm probably gonna take this home with me i yeah, think well, uh, yeah, I would. yeah i i i just i can't see just leaving it sitting in here to occasionally drive i'll probably i know everybody's gonna be upset i'll probably end up selling it it's not something that you're gonna daily drive with no seat belts um i think my motorcycle's safer than this i feel safer on my bike oh. <laughs> i feel like this thing this thing is absolutely crazy, and I can just I just see myself saying I hate letting things sit around. As you can see, the Model T. Oh, well, we got so many cars out here. They're just kind of <laughs> sitting around uh, that need to get stuff done to them. But it just sucks to know that something is sitting when somebody could be using it. And you know, I still don't see anybody who would be like, "Yeah, let's daily drive this." Um, but I'm sure they're out there. I, I would don't know. say this: wait until next spring to sell. Yeah. Because with winter coming on, nobody's going to want this to yeah through the, through the winter. I wonder what it's worth. I do. I wonder what it's worth. Well, the way this build is, I mean, there's no corners cut that I can see. I mean, everything looks spectacular. I'd say twenty twenty five. Woo, man! <sighs> Don't tell me that. I'll sell this sucker tomorrow. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll turn it. I, I would rather drive this anyway. I would much rather drive this. No, I'm kidding. I would rather not drive. This is... That's going to scare you more than this. <laughs> <laughs> this would actually rides and handle... I'm su surprised. And this power... Okay, no power steering. Right. But the gear ratio in that gearbox is so good. I mean, you can just one-handed, uh, one finger, you there, can turn there's it. There's no weight. Yeah. It almost feels like power steering. Yeah. Yeah, so this thing is a blast. It's a lot of fun. Uh, again, big shout out to Michael from Santa's oh, Workshop. You're welcome. I enjoy it. Coming over here and, and cutting up some brake lines and helping put in a steering column on a, a 
Citation. 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 Yeah, I, hell, I forgot what the hell it was. It's one of those C words. It's, it's <laughs> one of those. We called it a few C words, too. <laughs> Yeah, so big shout out taking him. His link is down below the video, guys. Go check him out. He would appreciate it, and so would I. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, well, you know, hit that subscribe button because we got a ton more. There's a whole story on this one right here. I can't wait to... Oh, yeah. I can't wait to share it, but I have to wait until the story goes one direction or the other. I, <laughs> and we got a few days left for me. There's a, there's a few days left for me to know if I own it or if somebody else owns it. I'll leave it at that. So I can't uh, I can't do anything for it. But I'll show you something. Like I went out and bought a brand new carburetor for it. This thing was like $450 for uh, an Edelbrock ABS-2, uh, 650 CFM. It's ready, to, it's ready to go on. Yep. But if you think I'm gonna put this thing on here, not knowing if I even own the damn thing or not, that's not gonna <laughs> happen. That's not, I told you guys, I, I paid 11, I think it was 11.5 for this one and, and that one was 14.5. Right. And now that I've seen that one, I'm like, oh, hell no. For three grand, I take the yellow one all day. Oh, yeah. I mean, this one's cool, and it's a much older, like, this is a, this is an old that's school a, build. That's an original frame. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not telling anybody what the motor is. They, I, I keep them guessing. I keep telling them, take a look at that motor, see if you can guess. But I promise you, when we come out with the video um, explaining everything, I'll, I'll tell you all about it, and we'll take it and see if it actually dries, because I bought this as a non-runner. Uh, for 11.5. Right. 11.5 is a non-runner. So again, run and drive minus a brake line that they reimbursed me for. Right. Uh, yeah, but what what would you do? You guys, <laughs> you guys tell me below. Drop your copy below. Would you just say, to heck with it, keep the black one? Or would you go with, you know, like this fully built yellow death machine? Uh, yeah, okay. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here. It is 10 o'clock at night. I haven't had dinner. I just, I keep... I didn't have lunch either. I didn't have oh, breakfast either. I had breakfast. I could, I'm real hungry. I mean, I know I, I, I don't need to eat. I could probably lose a little bit of weight, but I'm really hungry, so I think I'm going to go find some food, and then I'm going to go home. Again, if you enjoyed the content, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I truly appreciate it. Share the video with your friends on social media. It goes such a long way to help support the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking time to watch my videos. Till next time, stay safe out there, guys. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.